All right, hopefully this video doesn't suck too much. Uh, I'm gonna be recording a laptop screen with my cell phone and a really shitty laptop screen at that. Like this is one of the worst panels I've ever seen. But we're going to be installing Gentoo. Well, I'm not gonna take you through a full Gentoo installation. I'm gonna try to come up with a better way of recording before I do that. But this is hardware, this isn't a VM, uh, this is a laptop. And one problem that a lot of laptops have, not this one in particular, because uh, I think you can kind of see right there is the ethernet port, um, but nothing's connected to it. So right now this laptop does not uh, have internet, or at least it's not connected to the internet. So when people are installing a minimal Linux distribution to their machine, whether it's Gen 2, Void Linux, Arch, etc., you obviously need to have internet. And without ethernet, or most laptops, they don't even have ethernet ports these days, uh, you know, people are confused. They're like, hey, how do I connect to this? You know, I don't have some GUI where I can just select my machine. That's what I'm gonna show you guys how to do today. So let's just clear this stuff off the screen. I'll try to pull this forward so that you can actually see what I'm typing a little bit. Hopefully you can see it okay. So the first thing that we want to do is figure out what the name of our Wi-Fi device actually is. So we can do that with IP link. And this is going to print out your wireless devices. Um, now, if you can't tell which one is actually your Wi-Fi just from seeing this, if you're not used to looking at your uh, internet devices, then it might be hard for you to tell. You can do lspci-k, and this will give you a more verbose output. So you can see uh, basically here where it's talking about wireless network adapter. That'll let you figure out what your Wi-Fi is easier, but I already know that it's this one here, WL01. So what we wanna do now is we want to create a file for WPA supplicant, which is the actual program that we'll be using to connect to Wi-Fi. So you wanna just touch Etsy, WPA, supplicant, WPA, supplicant. And then you want to append the name of your Wi-Fi card to the end of it. So like if I go on this other TTY here, and then I'll just print it again. That's WL01. So wl01.conf. So we just created this file name, WPA supplicant hyphen wl01.conf in the folder Etsy WPA supplicant. So now we want to vim into that file. Well, not vim, we want to vi because you don't actually have vim inside of a uh, Gen 2 live CD. So you want to vi into Etsy, WPA supplicant, WPA supplicant, blah, blah, blah. And then you want to add the following syntax to it, ctrl underscore interface equals run WPA supplicant. And then on the next line, update config equals one. Then go ahead and save that. So now at your TTY, you want to run the command WPA passphrase, and then you want to add a string that is representing your SSID. So your SSID, that's your Wi-Fi name, your actual network name. Um, you can just look in your phone to see what the name of your Wi-Fi that you're connected to is. 
Uh, so mine is CIA Honeypot. And if your Wi-Fi name has spaces in it, then you're gonna to wanna to put this in quotes. Uh, if it doesn't have spaces like mine does, then you don't need the quotes. So we'll do CIA Honeypot and my password is glows in the dark. And then we want to output the results from this command to that WPA supplicant comp file that we just created. So Etsy, WPA supplicant, WPA supplicant, blah, 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 dot comp. So now if I VI into Etsy, WPA supplicant, WPA supplicant, blah, 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 dot comp, you can see that I now have this syntax added to it where it says network, and it's got the SSID, CIA honeypot, it's got the pre-shared key. You actually don't need your pre-shared key to be here inside of the file. Um, you can actually see that it's got a hashtag in front of it, so it's commented out. You could delete this if you want. I guess it's a little bit better for security since you don't have your Wi-Fi password just written in plain text on a random file in your computer. So then we can go ahead and right quit that after we made the change. And then we want to initialize WPA supplicant with the information that we put in that comp file. So you want to WPA supplicant, capital B, and then a lowercase i, and then the name of your interface, which I can't seem to remember for more than five seconds, WL01, or that's WL01, right? Yeah, WL lowercase 01, and then C, Etsy, WPA supplicant, WPA supplicant. So then you're just giving it the path to that configuration file that we created. Hit enter, and then it's gonna say up here that it successfully initialized the WPA supplicant. And at this point, you're connected, assuming uh, that you typed everything correctly. So now we can go ahead and test the connection by pinging gnu.org. And so you see, I'm getting ping replies. And again, just so that you guys know, there's no editing magic or anything. Look, there's no Ethernet put in. Uh, that USB, that's just the actual Gen 2 live CD. Uh, nothing over here on this side either. So, no tricks, just connecting to Wi-Fi on the command line. So we'll go ahead and kill this, and then uh, go to links to uh, download my deploy Gen2 script, since uh, Starting to get to the point where I'm a little bit too cool to just install Gen2 the old-fashioned way, you know what I mean? I'm going to test out my script on here. So there you go, guys. That's how you connect to Wi-Fi uh, from your TTY if you're in a minimalist Linux install. Uh, let me know if you got any questions down in the comments. I'll be sure to let you know if any of the uh, syntax that I typed in here wasn't clear. I'll probably just put it all in the description anyway because I know that this is pretty shitty quality. Anyway, bye now.